hey guys and welcome back to my channel i know i have been away for a little while i guess you could say but i've just had a lot going on in my life right now um and i just haven't found the time to film but i really do miss it so um today i thought i would create this makeup look for you guys uh i guess you would say it's like a glam fall makeup look it's a little out there um but yeah if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and there's also a little bell that you could click um, and that way YouTube notifies you every time I upload on video but yeah if you guys would like to see how to recreate this look then just keep on watching so I'm gonna start off by applying the Smashbox photo finish lid primer um, I actually got this in my Ipsy bag this month so I thought I would give it a try and um, yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out with my finger and then I'm just going to set that primer with some translucent powder. So now I'm going to go into my Morphe 35C palette. I'm going to take the yellow shade that's in there. And this is going to be our transition color. So I'm just going to place this on my crease and just blend it up towards the brow bone. So now I'm going to take the orange shade that's in the palette. I'm going to place that on my crease and just blend that out and then I'm just going to blend it towards the um, lid. So now taking the red shade that's in the same palette, I'm going to place this on my outer corner and just blend it um, towards the middle part of the eye, if that makes sense. <laughs> Now taking a little bit more of the yellow shade, I'm just going to um, blend everything together and just apply a little bit more of that yellow because during the blending process, it does blend away. Um, and now I'm just going to go ahead and apply this glitter adhesive, um, kind of creating like a half cut crease, I guess. To go ahead and apply the glitter, I'm going to be using uh, gold glitter. I'm just going to place that um, just on the inner part of the eye, like the inner part and the middle, but not on the whole eyelid. <laughs> So I'm just going to take a little bit more of the orange shade and just blend everything together um, and just try to make sure that the glitter blends in um, well with the rest of the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to take a brown shade and just kind of um, darken up the outer corner just a little bit, not too much. So I'm just going to take this eyeliner, it's in like a plum shade. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but we'll have it linked down below. But I'm just gonna place, I can't talk. I'm just gonna line my eyes with this and it doesn't have to be perfect, it can be messy because I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of smudge it out with a brush. So I'm just going to take a gold eyeshadow. Um, this eyeshadow is by Ofra, I believe, and I also got it in one of my Ipsy bags. But I'm just going to go ahead and place that um, like where the glitter ends um, and where it meets the eyeshadow, if that makes any sense. I just try to make it blend um, seamlessly and just as smooth as possible, make the eye look just look nice. And then right here, I'm just applying a little bit more of that red shade. Um, because it did get blended away um, with all the blending. So I'm just going to wipe off any excess, any glitter that did fall out. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and quickly do my foundation off camera. So then I'm just going to quickly apply my lashes on. And um, then I'm just going to go ahead and just dust away the translucent powder I had underneath my eyes. So 
then I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly finish up the eyes by mixing the red and orange shade in the palette and just blending that under my lower lash line. I'll be applying this uh, Wet n Well mascara um, on my lower lashes. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild liner just to line both my waterline, my lower waterline and my upper waterline. Is that what it's called? I don't know. <laughs> but then I'm just going to go ahead and bronze the face up with this Rimmel London bronzer. I believe the shade is Sunlight. Once again, everything will be listed down below. To contour, I will be using this Wet n Wild palette. Um, I believe it's the Dulce de Leche one. And I'm just going to place that on the hollows of my cheeks. For blush, I'm going to be using the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay like blush color wheel. And I'm going to mix the shades Extraordinary and Angelic. And then for highlight, I'll be using Becca's Champagne Pop. For the lips, I'm just going to be aligning them with Max Strip Down Liner. And then over top of that, I will be placing Anastasia's Liquid Lipstick in um, the shade Ashton. Well, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you did, you know the routine. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with my videos. Bye, guys.